Hello and welcome to Cheapskate Vacations. I'm Ellie and today I'm taking you on a tour of the Carnival Spirit. Uh, we are sailing on this beautiful ship out of Mobile, Alabama on October 26, 2024 for an eight day sailing. And um, we're gonna start it on deck number one. So right behind me, uh, forward, is uh, the Versailles Lounge. Yes, there is actually things on deck number one on the ship. The ship is quite small, but do not be fooled by the size of the ship. It actually has pretty much all the venues that the larger ships do, and the venues are a lot larger themselves in size, but the capacity of passengers is a lot less, so there are hardly any crowds, and um, you could get a seat anywhere. There's hardly any lines as well. Really amazing ship. So there's nothing else to see on deck number one other than Versailles Lounge. So in Versailles Lounge, they hold um, pretty much just the comedy shows, uh, the Punchliner Comedy Club, and um, maybe a couple of more things, but primarily just the comedy shows. Now we're going to walk upstairs to deck number two. You could see the beautiful vases and beautiful crystal everywhere you go. On deck number two forward is uh, you'll find another entrance to the Versailles Lounge as well as the lower level of Pharaoh's Palace and that's the theater on ship. To your right you will find the restroom. And here is the Monarch Room, which is the library and uh, game room on board. Coming right out of here, you'll see the kiosks and the ATM, and on your right, you'll have the coffee shop. Immediately behind the coffee shop is the Red Frog Pub and this is where they have karaoke and later in the evening they'll play live music over here. You also have these table games here, you have the shuffleboard. You see the ring toss, looks like two pieces have been broken off. And then you have foosball table as well. You also have this lovely seating where you could sit down and look outside. And if you bring your own dominoes or cards, you could play here. You just have to bring your own. As you can see the coffee shops to my left, you have a lot of seating all along over here as well as right in front of the staircase. Really comfortable lounges. Speaking of the staircase, here it is. This takes it to deck number three with a burgundy, uh, with a Shanghai bar, and um, a few other venues that I'll show you in a minute. This way here is the art gallery desk, where they do um, raffles and guess the weight and guess the price. Immediately next to the Red Fork Pub is the sports bar, it's called the Skybox. And here they play um, uh, just sport games all day long. It's a really popular venue. There are so many people here enjoying the favorite uh, sports game. And also they have a separate menu for drinks. Pretty much every bar and carnival, specifically this ship, 
has a completely different menu for their um, drinks. It makes it really interesting to visit different bars because you can uh, try different drinks up and um, find the ones that you like the most. Here's the casino. You could get through the casino through the sports bar, and this is the smoking section. As you can see, there's plenty of games. It, it is on a smaller side of the casinos compared to some other ships, but, um, you know, you could always find time to come and then you'll find your favorite machine. Usually early in the morning is when's the best time to be here. So this is the casino bar. It's the non smoking section is right across from this checkerboard floor. There's a casino host area. As you can see, there's a lot of table games. A lot. So they have craps, they have uh, blackjack. I'm not too familiar with table games, but they have a lot of them. Okay. By the midship, uh, staircases and elevator bank. <coughs> you can also access the casino through this side. And here, what's interesting is you can find a lot of really interesting artwork. The art that they have uh, and for the art auctions. So if you want to take a little get a ritual, you can over here. So coming back towards the main atrium, it's called the Spirit Bar, and that's where they have a lot of trivia and activities uh, throughout the ship, like different dance lessons and classes. That's a lot of fun, and I'll show that to you in just a second. Hey, we're leaving. We're leaving. Right here, you have Bansai Sushi. And we love Bansai Sushi. It's our favorite sushi place on land or on sea. Absolutely delicious. This is the atrium. And as you can tell, they have beautiful glass elevators riding all the way up. Again, more beautiful loungers. Like lounge chair, chairs to sit at. So walk it through. We're getting into my favorite bar area, and that's the Alchemy Bar. And it's amazingly enormous. That's the largest Alchemy Bar we have ever seen on any carnival ship. They have so much seating, and it's so beautifully decorated. And an evening is the boss of play live music. Right next to the Alchemy Bar is the Dance and Nightclub. They also host a chef's table at this venue. So, as you can see, this nightclub features two levels. Let me show you downstairs. And it takes you down to deck one, but I do not believe you can actually leave from deck one. This floor lights up. There's the DJ booth and here's the club. Now we're gonna make our way to deck number three. 
also on deck number two is the Empire Room, and that's the main dining room for set time dining. Again, more beautiful artwork. Now on deck number three, we're right now in the, oh, the very back of the ship. There's the Empire. <coughs> that's the Empire Room. Dining room for my time dining. And this is where we had all our meals every day of the cruise. Except for the days that we ate at the bonsai sushi and the buffet. So right through here, we have a, we never had our pianist play throughout the sailing in this particular bar. Right across from it on deck three, F is so play. And this is where they do crafts and it's free. You just have to make a reservation or wait in line if there is space and come in and do some crafts and painting. Really lovely. Again, more artwork here. And coming through that hallway, you'll enter pixels. And these are really large pixels. It goes on both sides of the atrium. They'll hang up pictures here for different days of your sailing. You could also purchase equipment. If you're some, you forgot something or if you need a new device. As you can tell over there, they also have pictures where they hang up. <coughs> and this is another view of the atrium bar. Now coming through here, we're gonna go to Fashion Boulevard and that's the shopping on board. We have the shops that are real popular on every ship. We have Effie over here. We have the port side liquor and tobacco. Beautiful Effie jewelry. They had some amazing sales while we were on this crate, uh, sailing. Uh, they had 50% uh, off clearance items, which were already 50% off. So we got some amazing, amazing deals. His front street watches and purses, and just beachwear. His Island Traders souvenir uh, logo shop. And hit fish beauty. We have makeup and perfumes, and they also all connect, so you can kind of walk through one and end up in another store. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Here's cherry on top, and here you have the pre reloved designer handbag store. Right past the gift shops, you have this display of flags that Carnival Spirit received when entering a new port for the first time. And there are so many ports that the ship has been to. And some of them are handmade, hand carved, wooden, beautiful flags. Like, look at this. Is it this nice? Coming through, you will enter Shanghai Piano Bar. And this is where they have piano music, 
uh, in the evenings and during the day they had raffles here and also ladies uh, pamper party And as you can see through here, this is the upper level of the beautiful staircase I showed you in the beginning. And so you can uh, come in here through, uh, not necessarily elevators, but you can take this beautiful staircase up or down. Right next to the Shanghai Piano Bar is the Warehouse Arcade. And they have uh, so many games. You do not need to bring cash here. You will be using your CPA sale and sign card to play the games. If you have children, you could put a limit on that card of how much they are allowed to use. Excellent. So that you can control the spending. Cool. All right, and now out of the warehouse, there are actually two exits. I just showed you the one that I came in from. But if you walk all around over here, you will enter the top level of Paris Palace. As well, I'm gonna show you the other entrance to the warehouse, okay? on the last elevator because I'm here and they were the game on the West Side Rose place and they got the door shut off. This is the warehouse. So now let me show you the top level of Pharaoh's Palace. It's really beautiful. You can also come outside over here and walk on the decks on either side. So this is the Pharaoh's Palace, and that's the mid-level, actually. The top level is in deck number four. You, you can come in through there as well. This is the place where they held all the production shows, as well as morning show live. And you can see that's the top level. It's really beautiful. And you can see down there, they have tables between each seat. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you my favorite part. It's one of my favorite parts. And that's called... The Jungle Room. <laughs> the Jungle is really, really fun. So, <laughs> look at the decorations over here. They're just so fun and hilarious. And we actually spent quite a little bit of time in, in this room right here. Uh, talking and socializing with various friends we've made along the way. Right up these stairs is Circle C, and that's for teens between ages 12 and 14. And here is the cove, and that's for the older teens. And as you can see, this wraps all the way around. 
So there's a jungle on both sides, on the left and the right side of the ship. Decks four, five, six, seven, and eight are primarily state rooms, with the exception of Pharaoh's Palace that is already showed you that it is on deck four entrance. So we're going to go to Lido deck, deck number nine, and this is where all the pools and the food are. So let's go over there. Coming out of deck number nine on your right side, you'll have the Romans car, which is also the entrance to the gym. And on the opposite side is Salon Classique where you have all your salon services, like hair, nails, and you could also enter the fitness center from there as well. So now, here's one of the pools. You have a giant chess game over here. And, um, Right here is the smoking section, and the smoking section goes on this side of the ship, as well as the upper deck on deck number 10. Deck number 9 wraps all the way around, so that we're going to walk towards the very front of the ship. And as you can see, here's the fitness center. Right through there. And here you can come out and have an even better view. You know, the ship sails to Alaska and I bet a lot of people use this viewing area right here when they go on the scenic cruises. We're in a mobile port right now. Coming through here, and then that's what said, you see right here you have the restrooms for this pool. You have a very large spa tub right here. In the pool, they drained it right now, but they'll fill it back up for the next group of passengers that are about to get on. Now here is the dome pool, and right here is Blue Yuana Tequila Bar. When it's bad weather, if it's raining or if it's cold, they will cover it up with the dome cover so people can still enjoy the pool even in bad weather. Right next to the tequila bar is a pool towel station. And this is the Red Frog Rum Bar.
coming back to the other side, you'll see you could get life jackets there. They're free. You don't have to pay for them to rent them. You just take it, use it, and return it when you're done. And right here, you have the beverage station where you get your coffee and your juices or lemonade and iced tea if it's for lunch. You have some tables for seating there and that's for the Blue Iguana Cantina. They serve breakfast in the morning, which consists of formal rancheros or burritos. And you have the salsa bar. For lunch, they have fish and, chick uh, fish and chicken tacos as well as burritos. <laughs> and then you have swirls ice cream and frozen yogurt on that side. And this particular ship, the screen is lowered. It's like on the same level as the stage. So when they show movies, they'll set them up the chairs right here in front of the screen. So make sure you come early because we were not able to get any seats every time we came. They were already full. To the left side of the screen is the guy's burger joint, as well as another station for swirls. And then here you have all the yummy burgers. They're open for lunch and they close at 6 p.m. And then this is where they will set up the toppings bar. Now let's enter La Playa Grill, which is the buffet on board. How are you doing, sir? you have your cereals, you have your breakfast items, that breakfast was the same every day. Yeah. Uh, the ceiling. You also have an omelet station over there and a beverage station. Now you have a repeat of that same breakfast stuff on this side. So it's that same stuff. We also have these. Right. And then you have the pastries. Coffee. Yeah. And Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Yogurt. And a food bar and some cold cuts. Right across from the cold cuts bar is where you'll find the deli. <laughs> And these are their sandwiches, and they are open from 11 till 11. Okay. Also, in the very after the ship, by the buffet, you'll find the pizza pirate on this ship. It's actually indoors. I know a lot of times they will have it outside by the half pool, on the child's pool. Here, it's in the buffet. And they're also open at 11 and they close at 4 a.m.
Now we're going to go outside to the serenity. Adults only 21 and over. Here immediately on your right you have a towel station. We have a serenity bar. As well as a coffee shop. And this is the second one on the ship. The other one I showed you was on deck number two. Here's the serenity pool and spa. And you have a lot more comfortable lounges over here. With that, if you don't have to pay for these, everything is included. Just come, first come, first serve. And then here you have a lot of shaded area as well. Really comfortable couches. All along the perimeter, you have clamshells, where again, you could lay out and enjoy the beautiful sea views. And on this ship, they have little side tables for the clamshells. Isn't that lovely? Now look what we have up there. We have the fun zone, the splash zone, Carnival Waterworks. Let's go up there and I'll show you what that's all about. Right now we're on deck number 10. And if you walk up all these Carnival Waterworks stairs, it'll take you all the way up. One of these is an open yellow slide. The other one is a green drop slide. I haven't been brave enough to do either. So, every time, every time we're cruising, I say I'm gonna do it, and I never do it because I'm too chicken. So, <laughs> Maybe one day. I did slide on another ship, but I'm afraid of the open one. And obviously I'm afraid of the drop slide too. <laughs> so now we're just walking along deck number 10. And as you can see behind me, there are a lot more clamshells here as well. Now let me show you something here. Here, you have entrance to the steakhouse. You could take these aft elevators up to deck number 10, or you can take the stairs. Or you could come in to deck number 10 for the lower level of the restaurant. And this is the steakhouse, and it's beautiful. And as you can see, it's right inside of the funnel. Everything is really pink. Now look at the elevators. And that's a glass staircase where if you walk on it, you could see all the way down. And I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm just not brave enough, to, brave enough to walk on it. And the way you come in through the staircase is from the buffet. Here's a restroom right on this side, outside of the restaurant. And there's another one for men on the opposite side. So now let's go back outside and finish our loop. Here you have ping pong. Ping pong equipment. Need your paddles and your balls. That wouldn't do much good on a windy day, but on a uh, nice and calm day, it would be a lot of fun to play. So as you can see, on the other side, it's the exact same thing. So now we're gonna walk around the pool deck and I'll show you what that's like. Okay. Here we are walking on deck number 10. 
towards the front of the ship. And as you can see beneath me is the dome pool. And then you see how there's a staircase. There are more loungers up there. I've never seen anybody use anything up there, but you could get up there if you want to. To get a really good view. We did walk up there on the first day of our sailing to do a sea, try to film the sail away party. But other than that, we haven't been up there since. Here's that other pool, midship from deck number 10. And again, on this side also is another smoking area. So if you're a smoker, you could smoke down on deck nine or deck number 10. So as you've seen earlier, this uh, gym in that little box below has multiple levels and you can come into the fitness center early in the morning if they have the doors downstairs closed through the spa you can come in through this door right here on deck number 10 and then you'll be able to enter the gym from the top level I really enjoyed uh, working out there and the therapy pool right there it's right in the center that's free to use you don't have to have a thermal spa package because this ship does not have a thermal spa suite the very front of the ship you'll have camp ocean and that's for children from birth. I wouldn't recommend bringing them when they're newborn, but six months <laughs> until uh, 11 years old. And you could come in either from deck number 10 outside, or you could take the elevators on the forward of the ship and they will take you there as well. Now let's go upstairs to deck number 11 and I'm gonna show you the mini golf. To access deck 11, you can only take these stairs and they are on both sides of the ship. There are no elevators that go up here. So if you want to play mini golf, um, you will have to take these stairs. So here's where you will get your putters and your balls and you start playing right here. Also here is the sports court where you have your basketball, soccer, here are the balls. We had fun playing here. It was a good time. There was no one else here. Like I said before, the ship is not busy. So this uh, has nine holes total. So this completes our tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It means so much to me and to my husband. It's free and it really helps us a lot if you do so. So we appreciate you, we love you. Happy cruising, take care.